in this matter. At the same time, the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenha, has introduced high-speed weigh-in motion way bridges in its static way bridge stations along the busy Mombasa-Malaba Highway amid pressures from logistics stakeholders to cut numbers of stations to reduce traffic. Now, the National Road Safety says trucks can now travel from Mombasa to any part of the country along the northern corridor without being stopped if they have completed or rather complied with a set axle load limits. Ken, her senior engineer from the axle load control unit, Kennedy Ndugire, maintains that they will not bow to pressure by some logistics companies which are pushing for the removal of the way bridges as the overloading trucks damage Kenyan roads which have cost trillions of shillings. The reforms in the way stations comes just a few days after the Kenya Ports Authority recommended reduction of way bridges along the Northern Corridor from current nine to at least three for transit goods in order to enhance movement of cargo, blaming them for causing unnecessary traffic gridlocks and inconveniencing to other road users. We should have an automatic drop down mechanism when it is loaded. And therefore, what normally the truckers are doing, they are fitting their vehicles with uh, some mechanism in such that it is controlled by a driver. And uh, when that happens, or we, we normally take the, uh, charge them with overload. We have a figure of around 10% of all the vehicles which are called into the station to come and do weight confirmation at the multi-deck scales. And here, most of them are also cleared. We have a few numbers coming into the yard to do load corrections. That's either they take offload the excess or they redistribute where they are overloaded on the axles. But the 90% which are cleared, they are allowed to go the, uh, to proceed on with the journey. So nowadays you don't have those queues which used to be there at the way bridges some years back. 